Hello my lovelies, here are the oracle messages for Taurus for the month of May 2019. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I've tuned into your energies um, and I've been given a vision and also a snippet from a song. Um, the universe is playing with me this month um, and it seems to be um, music themed for all of the signs. So they're reminding me of um, my younger years when I sang with a band and all those old um, classics and such like. Um, so yours is um, by Frank Sinatra and it's called Young at Heart. So the, the little snippet they've given me is message for you. <laughs> Bear with me. So it goes. Uh, and this is sort of the refrain. And if you can survive to 105 Think of all you derive out of being alive. Here is the best part. You'd have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. So whatever age you are watching this, it's being young at heart. So um, your heart energy opening up. Um, bursting for some of you it, it feels like it's really um, time to burst forth and this feeling of uh, joie de vivre, love of life um, loving everything that comes into your life and, and being able to share a great deal of love and um, happy energy with other people because some of you might have um, been in a place where uh, you just had your head down so being the bull, head down horns um horns of on the horns of a dilemma um trying to figure something out and because you've had your head down you haven't been able to look up and see what is beautiful around you um and what brings you joy what fun you know we need to have some fun we need to have some laughter a bit of a giggle um and um playtime playtime is very very important for you in the month of may um because there is a seriousness um with some things occurring for you um, and there's a, a need for you to um, not become embroiled in it not um, be on the defensive and um, be like the bull in the china shop and just want to um, knock everything flying and push everybody out of your way and the um, um, the vision was lovely um, an exquisite energy of dragon earth dragon and this is one of my paintings here. Um, it is a dragon and he wanted to be with you Taurians today. So um, that energy is being beamed at you. It's very, very protective. And what I saw in the vision was um, a dragon curled all the way around your house. So wherever you live, whether it's a castle or a, um, a bedsit, um, whatever amount of land or uh, property you um, own or rent or even you know it's a caravan um, the dragon energy is protecting you and I feel it's not just for the month of May it's much more um, oh, okay they're, they're talking about dragon eggs here or oh, which are very precious and very sacred and very very magical um, some years ago I went to um, Glastonbury and um, there was a dragon um, energy all the way around this great big mound of earth and it was like it was like a sleeping dragon coiled up and um, we were working on um, opening up the, the seven seals which is a um, an energetic gateway to bring more light onto the planet and more um, esoteric wisdoms, etc. So I get the feeling that for you Taurians, you are in the midst of a wake up call, which has shaken an awful lot of you to the core um, and, you know, can continue to do so because the planet Uranus, which is all about wake up and, and um, uh, um, change, transformation, revolution, um, 
bring, bringing things uh, very suddenly to you, um, which can, fee can make you feel um, unsteady, insecure, and the Taurians don't like that one little bit. They like to feel stable, secure, um, uh, grounded. So this dragon energy is completely encircling where you live. And it's, um, it's like he's, um, he's got his tail tucked um, underneath his bum. So there's this feeling of um, it's embracing you, it's holding you, it's... Um, keeping you safe and um, um, nurturing you, nourishing you until that time that um, you feel you can emerge from this upheaval, from this change, from this um, extraordinary Uranian energy coming in. So it's a bit like lightning strike. Um, uh, and what do you do with that? You know, when suddenly the lightning comes into your life it lights everything up um it can um when it hits certain things it can burn it can it can destroy um and also with the the dragon energy because they breathe fire he's absorbing the blows for you and helping you to burn off any um any debris that's been thrown at you recently he is an earth dragon you're an earth sign so he's very connected to um, the energies that you feel most comfortable with. And that is taking your time, planning, um, being meticulous about details, um, not rushing at anything, just nurturing that um, sense of self long term. So the dragon eggs, I feel, um, are being gifted to you from the universe. Um, and however they materialise in your lives, um, it's what focus you put upon them. It's not like the goose is golden egg. It's not that sort of energy. This is, um, because dragon is such an ancient energy um, and it isn't um, from the earth from Gaia it's from the cosmos and when you look at the constellation of Draco in the heavens these creatures visited us many thousands and thousands of years ago to bring a message and it is said that many of them were destroyed. But the energy of them is still here. It's in the um, sort of other realms. So for many people, they are um, not visible. I actually saw one on the um, beach at Finsbourne. This extraordinary dragon. He was guarding the beach. Enormous, enormous energy. Um, and it sort of washed over me. It wasn't scary. It was just this amazing energy of, I'm a guardian. I'm here. I'm, to, I'm here to protect this spit of land and this area. Um, and we let nothing untoward come in. So for this month of May, which is the fifth month, Number five is to do with adventure and this sense of stepping out into um, the unknown. And it's your birth month. So things can be birthed for you, new beginnings, new, um, new adventures, new pathways, a new way of setting up things in your life, um, looking at what you've already grown or developed or structured in your lives um, seeing where something's wobbling where either the foundations or the brickwork or whatever is um, unsteady making repairs if necessary but also letting certain 
aspects of the structure of your life fall away or crumble. So say you've come to the end of a contract with the way you've been working with a, um, a boss or within a career. And there's a decision, well, do I renew that contract? Do I say goodbye to it? Do I place myself in a similar situation with another employer? Or do I step out on my own? So it's finding that um, reassurance within as to what your next steps are. Because when you're in your birth month, in that birth energy, it is takeoff time. It's a launch point for you to be able to um, um, put the fire underneath something and watch it take off. So your uh, little angel card, patience. Now, Taurians have an awful lot of this, an awful lot of patience. It's that ability to um, have a plan. Mull things over, write it down, work it out, go over it again and again and again. Um, deleting those bits that don't serve. Um, and adding to the plan those bits that um, will beautify it. So the see little angel is sitting knitting. And patience is needed for something like that. So to create anything... So from, it, from its inception to its completion, it does need some patience. But as I say, you have got an awful lot of that. And this is um, angelic energies assisting you. So helping you to um, move through all the different um, stages, all the different levels, improving as you go. So if I say this is... Your birth month, it is, it is launch point, takeoff time. So when a rocket um, is ignited and it leaves the earth, the first, the bottom part of it is the fuel. So when it reaches beyond the earth's atmosphere, one part of it, the first stage, falls away because it's used up, it doesn't, it's not needed anymore. And then there will be other stages um, to do with the uh, trajectory of where it is you are headed in life. Um, and at some point, the second stage will fall away. So wherever you find yourself at the moment, you are stage one. Take off time. Um, but just be cautious about not using up too much fuel, too much energy to get something off the ground. Um, so that you're depleted and um, you need to, um, um, you're so exhausted that you can't carry on with it. So it's it's finding that level of being able to say, right, I've let it go. Um, back to the drawing board, maybe literally for some of you, um, and see how we manage the next levels. So it's pacing yourself and seeing that, um, okay, they're saying... When you, when you work with the earth energy, so you being the first earth sign of the year, then we get to Virgo in August, then we get to Capricorn in December. And they're saying by the time you reach the Capricorn energy in December, January, you will have got through those three stages. So Taurus is the first, Virgo is the second, Capricorn is the third. All the earth signs. Um, so you can check in with yourself in August with Virgo and look back um, on how things have gone. And then from Virgo onwards, you can make the adjustments, um, improvements to take it to its completion. Okay. I feel that also with this um, Uranian energy, so Uranus being, Uranus being in your sign for this seven year period, um, you will come up with innovations, you will come up with new ideas of how to take your idea, your project, your business, your career, your relationships um, to different levels, different stages. Um, and occasionally having reviews and say, well, is this working? Yeah, that's OK. We can carry on with that. Um, but this aspect, oh, that needs some fine tuning. 
um, especially within, within relationships as well. So, um, yes, taking your time with things, but being aware that those around you might not have as much patience as you do. Um, so we've chosen a self-mastery card and you have accuracy, which is also a very strong Taurian trait um, with the patient. So it says, as a master, I always consider each situation, knowing what to do, when to do it and for exactly how long. <laughs> I develop the instinct to recognise when something is not right and I'm ready to start over. So that's lovely. That, that's really confirming, you know, taking your time, changing what needs to be changed. Um, and if it isn't right, you start over with it. So I've um, also asked for an animal card for you. Now, this is very interesting um, and it ties in very strongly with the, the dragon energy. This is coyote. And it's number 13. So 13 is the number of um, um, transformation. So it's death and rebirth, endings and beginnings, letting go of um, that which has died in your life, that which has expired in your life. So as I say, if it's the end of a, a contract or um, a stage in your life, acknowledging it, you can't... Um, Put life back into something that has died um, and being able to move forward with things. Now coyote energy is a bit of, a bit tricky. He is also known as the trickster. So part of this is mercury energy, Loki. Um, Loki is the trickster. So this is for you to be very um, discerning, very um, canny and aware of those around you who might be um, uh, the trickster energy who might be trying to pull the wool over your eyes who might be um, uh, envy, jealousy around you um, who might not want your um, have your best interests at heart or, or want you to succeed um, uh, and a lot of this seems to be coming uh, more I feel from from people you work with, so colleagues, um, perhaps even bosses, um, for some of you, uh, because they see that you have a vision, you have a focus, you have an ability to um, do the work that is asked of you, but also you you've got a life outside of that, um, and I feel that's where some of the the envy stems from that you know to how to enjoy life. Taurus is ruled by Venus. So Venus is the goddess of, of um, uh, luxury and wealth and beautiful things and um, a lovely home. And there may be people around you who, who think, how can you have all of that? And because they're coming from a sense of lack, there's this envy or jealousy around you. So there might be some... Um, um, or well, I'm hearing the word bad blood between them and you at some level. And also there might be um, bad words being said. Um, when somebody bad mouths you, always foul mouthed about you, it always bounces back to them. Because if somebody is bad mouthed, um, it affects the way that they speak and that they eat and that they swallow and, that, and um, what they ingest, what they actually take in. And they might also have bad breath. If they're foul mouthed, they might have bad breath. You know, there's a stink about them, um, which you can sense. So just be cautious, be aware of your, your sacred space. So again, dragon energy around you, protecting you from um, Oh, even spite, some people being spiteful. Um, uh, but I feel also that for a lot of you, you are able to um, walk away now from a situation, from a, as I say, if there's a contract to come to an end or um, the work that you have been doing, um, 
no longer satisfies you and you've been a Taurus, you probably built up something else um, quietly um, or have an, an idea of something else that you can just leave this, do that, pick it up, run with it. Um, so there can be this um, <laughs> na 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 moment. So you've been able to walk away and say, well, you know, that's your mess. That's Those are your issues. That's your energy. I'm not buying into that anymore. Um, you can't control me. Um, you don't own me. Um, go and work on your own stuff. I've done my inner work and I'm moving away from this and I've got something much better to do with my life. Um, boundaries being very, very important, um, which has come in with the cat energy. Healthy boundaries. So it's not buying into somebody else's um, I'm hearing the phrase sort of stringing it, stringing a line. Um, uh, not for all of you, but, but for some of you, there may be people who are um, um, telling stories, making up um, stories about themselves and their abilities and their past. And, and it's all lies. It's all um, um, a load of old... Mm -mm. Um, I came across a... A young man many years ago who um, inveigled his way into a, my circle of friends and everything that came out of his mouth was a lie um, he told us that his flat had burned down and that he had he lost all of his belongings um, and he had no money and somebody put him up for a while um, somebody managed to find him a job um, Everything he said, every single thing that he said was a complete and utter lie. He just um, manufactured this um, life in his imagination. Um, and absolutely none of it was true. And I managed to catch him out because something he said didn't ring true with me, so I checked up on it. Um, he said that there was a certain hotel in a certain place that he got a job at. So I phoned the um, the hotel of the same name in London. I said, oh, can you give me the phone number of your hotel in Dublin? And he said, I haven't got a hotel name. I said, ah, okay, gotcha. Um, and so I caught him out. I told all my circle of friends... I said, he's just lying. And they were so shocked and so upset that this person had um, strung them all along, got money out of them and um, goods, etc. Um, and then he disappeared. He just vanished. So I'm not saying that uh, exactly that sort of thing will come into your life, but, but just to be aware that um, there are rogues out there, there are tricksters out there who like to string a line to people um, to see what they can get away with. It's got no morals, no um, filter, just comes up with stuff. So with the cat energy, this is about healthy boundaries um, and independence. So your sense of self... In whatever situation you're in, in, in work or career, is, is you have an independence. You have an ability to um, do the job, do the work, put your energies into it. But you also, uh, as I say, have a, have a life outside of that. So with a little mini coyote card here. It says, explore the present chaos, see life's humour, let go and laugh and welcome the unexpected. So, as I said at the beginning, there may be some very serious stuff going on around you um, with this awakening and wondering, well, what is, what's my new pathway? What steps do I need to take? Um, and seeing it, there is a cosmic joke. 
and being able to laugh at um, all of the antics of others going on around you. So um, sometimes with the coyote energy, he's um, he tricks he trips himself up. You know, in the um, cartoon Wiley Coyote, he falls off the cliff and is splattered at the bottom of the canyon. That sort of thing. Um, to see the humour in what is being brought to you at the moment, because we all create our own reality. Um, let go and laugh. So um, we know when we see somebody fall over, depending who they are and the circumstances, we can laugh our socks off at them, um, so long as they're not truly badly injured and blood spurting everywhere. Um, so if there is chaos around you at the moment, explore it. See why it has shown up and what it's come to teach you. Because sometimes out of the um, the sly machinations of others who want to trick you, who want to trip you up, who want to um, see you fall flat on your face, is that ability to step back and say, well, oh, why did I attract that into my life? What do I need to learn from this? Um, and once you've learned it, you move beyond it and you're never attracted in again. It's never going to show up again. I also feel that for an awful lot of you, as we're moving through your birth month, you'll be able to sigh a huge sigh of relief. <sighs> Being able to walk away from something and say, oh, thank God that's over. I've given enough energy, time, money, um effort to that yes i've got an awful lot out of it but it's taken an awful lot out of me um and i just don't want to go there again i don't want to visit that place that energy that those circumstances um time to move on and not only is there a big sigh of relief but it's more like okay they're saying you can rest on your laurels so the work that you have done, you've done it top notch to a high degree. Um, so you have nothing um, nothing in that um, effort that you've put in that you can um, um, see in a negative way. But leaving behind those things that were routine, that were mundane, that were boring, that were um, uh, automatic pilot and taking from that experience those things that now will bring you joy that you can um, exert energy now so you can have those laughs, you can have those giggles, you can have that fun and there's nobody around you going to try to trip you up anymore or find fault with you or deliberately put you in a situation where uh, blame is aimed at you um, or somebody's trying to um, get you fired. Um, all of that's leaving. That's um, um, hmm, I'm reminded of despicable me. So there is maybe someone around you who is despicable, who only wants to see the worst happen to you, but it'll backfire on them. Um, so we've come to um, Gordon Smith's um, Five Keys to Happiness card. That's interesting, two came out for you. Um, so we'll have a look at both of these. Now one is the air family and one is the space family. Um, so I feel that these apply, one at the beginning of your um, of May and one at the end of May. So beginning of your birth month and end of your birth month. So um, if you watch this again at the end of um, May, this will probably make more sense to you. So the first one, the air family, is the circle of clouds. So there's a beautiful emerald surrounded by rainbow clouds and this is your um, a 
ability to um, know that the clouds of Dharma are protecting the truth. So karma is our past and Dharma is our future. D-H-A-R-M-A. So you are being protected, again, by the dragon energy. And it says you're guarding your five senses from inappropriate actions. You have the power to overcome all obstacles in your life with the five sensory perceptions, even the fears you once thought insurmountable. So using all of your senses and that sixth sense, so that inner knowing, that perception of a higher aspect, to be able to move forward now into your dharma, into your future. The number five, again, May, new adventures, great new times coming along. So the space one is open mind. That's the space family. You see these two keeps, male and female energies, joined at the third eye. So there's information coming from the planets, from the sun, straight into the third eyes, but also they're beaming energy out. So they have open minds. So as a transmitter and a receiver, which is what we are, is you having an open mind through this whole month of May. And again, the three is there for the three stages of the rocket, rockets of desire. Being open minded as to what shows up in your life. How you view it, how you react. To what shows up in your life because some of this stuff uranus being in your sign can be quite um out of your comfort zone out of your experience it can be very very unusual very different very strange um super natural so beyond the natural So I hope that this has been of some help to you, my darlings. There's um, um, an awful lot going on for you during the month of May. Endings and beginnings, doors closing, doors opening, doors slamming shut as well. Um, not getting riled by others, seeing the sneakiness of those around you who, as I say, might want to trip you up, might not have your best interests at heart, but knowing you're protected. So with the, um, the dragon energy, I'm getting closer to my camera. Earth dragon energies. Yay. All of my artwork contains sacred water from the chalice well at Glastonbury and also sacred ash, which is called Viditi. And I mix them with the paint. So anybody viewing my artwork will get a blast of healing energies. And if anyone would like a copy of this piece, the details are in the box below. If anyone would like a private session with me, again details in the box below. So the dragon is smiling on you, the dragon is protecting you. 
and helping you to realize how powerful you truly are and then no one can diminish you only if you allow it so i'll leave it there my darlings thank you for watching please like please subscribe that really helps my channel to grow and if you'd like to leave a comment i'd love to know how you feel about my readings and until next time i send you lots of love bye for now